six years ago if I would have if someone would have told me that I would go live on Facebook looking like this I would have been appalled <laughs> so I am sitting on the outside deck I have this beautiful view let me see if I can flip around and show you I am in a hospital in Boulder Colorado and I'm wearing these ridiculous glasses because it's the only way I can see. I've been walking around with one eye closed for three days um, because I see double when both eyes are open. And this um, occupational therapist came in my room and put tape over one lens of safety goggles and then put them on my face. And I just, I kind of rolled my eyes. And when I put them on, I immediately stopped seeing double. It's so crazy. So. That's the reason I look like this. I also have no makeup. This is Lori Hammond. If you don't recognize me, that's because I'm a natural ginger and I have pure white eyelashes and eyebrows. So <laughs> my daughter, my precious Cassie is right here with me. It took me a minute to psych myself up to be here. And I really didn't want to be emotional. My intent is to encourage you. So if you hang in there, I think you'll be encouraged. But I have to get over the emotion, the raw emotion of showing up like this. I can do this. <laughs> I am waiting to have brain surgery. And the biggest reason I wanted to come on here is because I know a lot of people are wondering where I am. I'm not going to be able to see from it. <laughs> um, a lot of people are wondering where I am and why I haven't been more communicative. I've been in the hospital since. Oh man, were you waiting for the first <laughs> years? <laughs> um, I was waiting until I had um, news, until I could tell everybody what's happening. And I've been here since Sunday and I still don't have news. Um, I'm kind of, I um, am waiting for uh, um, hospital politics. I'm waiting to jump through hoops. Um, so I can get transferred to a place that can do my surgery. And part of, I was just going to do this live inside my private groups. And um, I decided to do it publicly because I feel like there's a chance. And there was a time when I didn't want to talk about what goes, what like my neurological stuff at all. Um, and I decided that I'm going to do it anyway because there might be somebody out there that has some clues. Because the condition that I'm dealing with is really um, pretty rare, and I'm, I don't want to talk a whole lot about it. Because honestly, my 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 intent for being here is to encourage you. Um, I had a shunt, a VP shunt, placed in my brain 17 years ago, and it gave me my life back. Before that, I had had a headache for three years, 24/7. Um, sometimes it was. The pain was low enough that I could ignore it, and sometimes it was so intense that if I moved, I would throw up. And when they finally placed the shunt, I felt normal again. I felt like a human again, and I think that's a big reason I, um, I divorced. I got out of a miserable marriage, <laughs> um, and um, started doing things differently in my life and started pursuing my dreams. And I became a hypnotist a few years ago. And it's so interesting because going through this this time and dealing with a lot of the same things and it like stirring up some old things for me, it has been so interesting for me to realize that, that I can feel this and be okay. And I've been a lot okayer than I am right now. I know I look like a shit show, but it's because I feel super vulnerable. Um, and I see a lot of people putting stuff in the comments. I can't read them, but I will go back through and see them all later. So thank you to the people who are here. I'm, I'm so grateful. And I recognize some of the little bubbles at the top of the screen. Um, so what I, what I would like to do is encourage you. Um, first, I want to say, if you signed up for my event on Sunday, it's not going to happen. <laughs> and I'm going to be sending out an email that says, that talks about it. But, um... I will make sure it happens, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be even more amazing than it would have been if I did it Sunday. But I wanna say, um, life is so precious, you guys. And I have no idea what's gonna happen with me. I, I am optimistic. I, I'd like to believe that I can manifest a really beautiful outcome and I think it will be. But I don't freaking know. And being in this hospital and having two of my kids here just loving on me and advocating for me and 
supporting me and um, I have never felt so loved in my life. I felt loved by the few of you who knew what I'm going through um, sending me love, which by the way, <laughs> um, if you send me love and send me DMs and emails and stuff, I'm so grateful for that. And if I don't reply for a little while, um, please be patient with me and know that I love you. But I'm realizing, you know, there's so many things that I want to do. There's so many um, things that I've been waiting until I feel ready to do. There's so many, like, I want to be a difference maker in the world. And I think that I have started down that path. And if anything I've said or done has made a difference in your life, I would love to hear about it because that's the thing that gives me joy the most. But if you're a person who has been waiting to be a difference maker, if you're a person who has been waiting for the stars to align or the ducks to, be, to get aligned in a row, um, I invite you to knock it off and to start now and to start before you're ready. And I would really be super grateful if you would send me prayers light, love, positive thoughts, whatever resonates for you and your spiritual beliefs. Um, and what I would ask is that you wouldn't feel sorry for me. I know it seems it might seem like I'm feeling sorry for myself. I'm actually not. I'm actually really grateful. I'm sitting here like my daughter is holding my hand right now. I'm so freaking lucky. But if you would just imagine me thriving, imagine me, this is what I'm imagining. Imagine me lifting heavy weights, like doing squats and having a heavy, heavy um, barbell on my shoulders because I'm so freaking strong and I feel clear and vibrant and I can walk with balance. I have a freaking walker here, you guys. I don't know if you can see that because I can't walk. Um, I can walk. I just, when I try to go forward, my body wants to go backwards. And when I try to go right, my body wants to go left. And this is going to get figured out. But if you would just imagine me waking up from surgery and be, being so relieved because I feel okay again. And having the, like the doctors having wisdom and figuring out what the f heck is going on with me. Um, that's what I would appreciate. So I think, I really think, you know, as a hypnotist, the biggest thing that I've learned about effective hypnosis, when hypnosis works, it works because you help the person that you are speaking to create a really strong mental image or feeling or sensation or even sound of what they want to experience when they have gotten on the other side of the problem. And I think that's so much more effective than um, worrying about someone or like trying to get them out of the problem. It's trying to get them into the solution. So. Thank you to everyone who's here. I'm really looking forward to um, to reading all the comments and looking at who was here in this live. I'm grateful for you. Again, um, I if you send me love in the DMs and emails, I will be really grateful and it might take me a while to get back to you. Do you want to say anything, Cassie? I'm just going to put the camera on my daughter and put her right on the spot. <laughs> um... I think that it's important that she like gives you guys an update to let you know where she's at and why she's been MIA basically. And we'll, I think, try to do our best to make sure that everyone stays in the loop when we start to get answers. Like Lori said, we haven't really gotten tons of direction even after being here for four days. But I think that it's important that you guys know where we're at both so you're not wondering what happened and so you guys can just continue to send good intentions everything amazing that you guys all do um and thank you all for being so great to my mom and i just want to thank um so anyone who's in my in my groups like my weekly transy tuesdays group i have laura mccola is going to be doing the next one so i just want you to know how much you all are front and center in my mind and i am not going to drop the ball for you um i want to thank mike mandel for doing my last transy tuesdays my daughter Janessa, this is Cassie, my other daughter Janessa helped facilitate that meeting. Caroline Daw ran my um, HIC meeting yesterday. I think Desiree helped her. I just want to thank all you beautiful humans so much for helping me. Um, thank you for seeing me in my super vulnerability. <laughs> and um, 
staying here and I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Whatever that thing is that you've been putting on hold, knock it off. You are ready. You are worthy of living an excellent life. And whatever is going on in your life right now, like whatever hard thing is is causing you to put your happiness on hold, I double dog dare you to realize that it's okay to be happy now. This has actually been one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. I have never felt so loved and supported and I feel like when I get to the other side of this, I'm going to look back on it and realize that something so beautiful happened um, and and led me to a place that's so much more awesome than where I would have been if this didn't happen. So whatever that hard thing is that you're going through in your life, you are stronger than you realize and you can make it through this and let today be an amazing day and let yourself feel whatever it is that you're feeling and realize that you are okay.